Hello folk that are definitely very sane because they watch my videos. Welcome back to another exciting, very chill, and probably not stressful campaign of Hearts of Iron 4. And on today's episode, we will be forming the Greater Indonesian Confederacy as part of our little Greater series. We have two more Graders to form after this. And for Greater Indonesia, I'm actually using this mod that someone on my very mentally stable Discord server made. By the way, you can join that, by the way. If, you, if you're insane, you'll fit right in. And so yeah, when this guy on the server said he had an Indonesia mod. I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll play this for the Indonesia video. The one Indonesia video that's probably going to be on the series. I would love to read this, but I have a night to ruin my own. So let's see the first focus that we can do. What better start to a Hearts of Iron 4 campaign than to discourage democratic reforms? Because that's what we do here on this channel. Our core population is quite massive, but we have a few debuffs down there. That's horrible. And also not much of an industry. <laughs> Three factories. I guess it's better than British Malaya with a whopping one factory. I'm assuming when trade gets going, we will probably get more civvies, I think. Or maybe they'll all go to the Dutch. We start off with a few very undersupplied divisions. I'd be surprised if they even had guns, really. So yeah, very, very good start for Indonesia here. The 61st birthday of Governor General De, De Jong. It's De Jong, right? Considering I haven't heard about any communist uprisings in Indonesia in uh, the 30s or 40s, I think we're going to go for the alternate history path. Oh, yeah, and by the way, as always, we're playing on non-historical. Uh, maximize the pain, you know. Transfer of Sotan Shahir. I just realized I'm not going to be able to pronounce the Dutch or Indonesian names. So one of them gives us a whopping five political power. That's really going to boost us up. One of them makes us lose political power, but gets us 1% stability. And one of them makes us lose 5% stability, but gives us 15 political power. None of these evoke happiness in me. I suppose I'll go for the less political power, whatever. Oh, so we're transferring political activists to different prisons and shit. I should probably be paying attention to the actual lore here. Hold on. Germany is in a civil war, okay. I mean, I guess they won't attack the Dutch, which is cool, I, I guess, right? We are gonna be declaring independence, though. Dying sounds more fun than being a Dutch puppet. I mean, assuming we're trying to go down this path here, I'm assuming we're trying to get to one people, one state. But before that, we should probably improve this situation. Actually, now that I think about it, I think he said that, like, the communist path was the only path that he's, like, made to fruition so far. So that's the only viable path? I don't know, something like that. Either way, I haven't played that much communism recently. So now that we've addressed the malaise, let's Let's revive the spirit of 1926, which I guess there was like an uprising in 1926. I'm not too sure about the lore again. All right, now we're inching closer to becoming a puppet. That's much better than an integrated puppet. I guess next we'll do self-sufficient weapon production so that we actually uh, get an industry, you know? I think we're gonna have to invade. What did we have to invade to inform this? We literally just need the Malay states. So I'm assuming these two, right? And then we can just form it. It's pretty easy, actually, I think. East Indies delegation returns home. Not worthy of attention. Is there any benefit? benefit to doing this because this one gives us 75% research bonus for industry. Piss off the world's strongest country or industry bonus? A proposal from the Duchy of Man Mango Kenegarand. I'm assuming there's going to be long lasting consequences that come to bite me in the ass in 1945 if I don't pick the right one. So I'm going to read actually. Uh, okay, so there's a marriage between like what, like Dutch officials or something. And then instead of giving us actual material gifts, they just want to dance? Hell no. What? Give us actual riches, please. Probably shouldn't done that they're probably gonna have like a vendetta against me now wow we have a whopping four factories now incredible we can raise our autonomy now though to a puppet all right next let's do secret weapon production for what i don't know i don't know <laughs> and the dutch definitely don't need to know either and next we're gonna do limited exports so that we can actually get civvies <laughs> this is such a bad spirit not to mention this and also this also this and of course this as well i think most of our spirits are detrimental i mean i'm assuming the communist path is the one with the communist icon and had a funny uh red part of the pie is gonna keep rising very, very slowly, but surely. I wonder what they think of private property, guys. And Italy can win against Ethiopia. That is a very Italy moment. One of the Italian moments of all time, I'd argue. Up there with inventing pizza, maybe. And we have to wait for the PKI to reach 15% for either of these. I guess I'm gonna keep making my industry actually good. Well, probably not good. Like, uh, halfway decent is probably the better word. Okay, UK's going communist. I don't like that because I do need to murder them. The proclamation of Gerindo. Wow, even more negative debuffs. Uh, at least it gives us more communism, though. That, that, I guess that's cool. And now we can either liberate Sukarno or we can do ideological purity. Okay. So apparently if we liberate Sukarno, he is going to stand in our way of a revolution later on. But I do know about this guy. I think this guy did lead 
Indonesia for a while. And so this is the more Indonesia-ish path, if you get what I'm saying. Imagine this has literally no bearings on us in the future. I'll, I'll just liberate Sukarno, whatever. Okay, now that we've liberated Sukarno, he is one of our advisors. That is a really good buff. 12% more political power gain. Although the weekly stability is a bit concerning. It's fine. We'll be in a revolution soon anyway. And it's already kind of in the pits. And next we need more than 30% or more than 35% for the Communist Party. So I guess we'll keep building. Unfortunately, to do the next industrial focus, we need 65% stability. That ain't happening anytime soon. And we can do gather international support. But I do want to seek support from the Soviet Union instead. Let's address our military issues here. Uh, next, let's actually uh, try to make our Air Force not a mess. Uh, let's try to fix the, the debuffs that we have on the Air Force. I don't even think it's an outdated Air Force. I don't think that's the problem anymore. This is this has gone beyond an outdated Air Force. It's like getting shot in the head and worrying about blood loss. Next, let's pave the way for a Navy. I mean, I guess we're gonna have to build our own Navy. How can, how can I steal the British's fleet? I don't think I'll be able to. I might have to make my... <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, it makes me sick just saying it. I think we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna we're gonna have to produce our own ships, guys. I don't think we can steal... Oh, we can't steal ships from anyone. But that's like what I do in this game. That's what I do best. I don't know how to build ship. Okay, next I'll seek the support from the Third International. Let's try to get into the common term. The Lithuanian government won't support us. Man. Okay, the Turkish support us. Tanatuva. I don't I don't really care. Chinese government won't support us. God damn it. Soviet Union. I, I hate this world. This world sucks. Why does everyone hate us? We've done nothing yet. Ah, I see. So we either angered the Japanese and like you know align ourselves with china a bit more we are playing the communist path so we, we have to go with that we have to piss them off a bit you know i mean they may be able to completely like annihilate us in a normal war but hey we stuck it to the man all right next we can finally break the chains which makes us free i don't think a war starts right yeah we just become free <laughs> which that's convenient i mean okay even if we went to war what are the dutch gonna do where are they gonna naval invade us from who's gonna support them and there you go the revolution blooms Merdeka atao mati i agree ah never mind we're having an internal of a war. Interesting. Okay. I do like this flag. Just the Indonesian flag with a bull on it. That does look cool. The Pacific Dutch state. They're just straight up fascist. <laughs> okay. Do not ask Anton van der Laken what he thinks of Indonesian people. Their capital is on Amboina. How am I going to get to Amboina? Oh, whoops. The game crashed. Hold on. It is the beta, so he did tell me it could be unstable, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep reopening the game as many times as it takes. If I must bring Indonesia to glory. Okay, I, I think I understand what's going on. It crashed again. And I'm like 99% sure I understand why it's crashing. It's because the icon for uh, a distant ally for the focus is just not popping up. And I, I feel that's creating like a thing in the game. So now I'm instead playing on the uh, actual official release build instead of the beta. So it's probably more stable. So I'm, I'm going to get to where I was like two minutes ago and then I'll talk again, I guess. Okay, now drafting locals is, it is tempting. I'm gonna do trust on the east because it gives me stability and I really wanna do the rest of the industry branch here. All right, let's reform the KNIL. Ah, never mind. My ass did not pay attention. I need both of these to do more KNIL funds and I can't because I need this. Uh... That's right, it was a previous. Okay, well, time to reset again. I like how I haven't even been in a single war yet, and I'm already losing my mind. Good tree, though. I should probably just pay more attention. Let's liberate Sicardo for the third goddamn time. Bro's probably tired of me liberating him over and over again. He probably wants to stay in jail at this point from how many times I'm bothering him. Like, look at this man's eyes. He literally looks like he wants to bash my skull in. He looks so done with my shit. God, how are we gonna get to 65% stability, man? Yeah, so what's fun about knowing about the civil war is that we can kind of prep. Now, should I do gather international support? Or should I do seek support from third international this time? I guess international support has more chances that people give us shit because we're asking way more countries but the Soviet Union will not like us as much. Yeah, sure, we'll go for a gather international support this time. The Greek government won't support it. Well, they probably don't even have guns with that economy of theirs. I don't blame them. The Danish, you should be able to afford this. Actually, it's the Danish, never mind. Dominion of Australia, yeah, yeah, Dominion Canada. If you want to read the Sicarno lore, here it is. Now let us break the Dutch chains around our neck. We will earn our freedom and hopefully not crash this time. All right, the revolution blooms. Now the divisions we put there, Completely disappeared. That's a bit sad. Right, actually, we're gonna lead on the Asian communists because this path does seem a bit more interesting, I guess. 
and once again, we're only at war with the Indonesian state, which have the same flag as us. It's a black bull. Ours looks more like slim, sleek, and overall more cool. This one looks like it'd be like a ripoff, you know? It's like this one would get copyright striked on YouTube and would get no monetization. We've made the new Centara Accord, and the only person who joined was Sinkiang because I think we only invited Sinkiang. How about communist China? Are they not? Why didn't we invite these people? Are they not an Asian communist? I guess next we'll do Asian revolution here. Let's kill this division, please. We are the real Indonesia. We, we're not led by someone who looks like he'd be on a list, okay? Should I do seize foreign capitalist assets? Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care anymore. China has capitulated. Holy shit. I want them in my faction so bad. Oh, the revolution is triumphant. Perfect. I mean, for base stability, I'll do anything. I'll even disband the people who helped us fight. That's right. I am scum. Oh, actually, we can do improve worker conditions. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's try to get to 65%. And I'm going to cancel these foreign capitalist assets. I'm going to push for Philippine independence instead. The US will surely not mind any of that. Sing Kiang is about to take our faction. Man, you know the country is bad when Sing Kiang. Bro, they have seven factories. At least we have 14. All right. Settle down, bud. Single digit factory ass country. Return of the communist exit. Exiles. Who should we get? Bung Malaka. You know what? It's for Nusantara. That's what we're trying to find. I think Greater Indonesia is Nusantara. So you know what? Fuck it. That's what we're doing it for. After Philippine independence, I'm going to be able to do the rest of my industry now, finally. And I can end the malaise. Push for Philippine independence. And now let's end the malaise at last. You know, this man may have like 10 chins, but for every one of his chins, I trust him tenfold. Oh, I returned to blue. What happened? Oh, we can't even develop the Sunda Islands. One of the following must be true. We have George Hart. We have Hubertus Van Mook, Jan Verboom, or Ignatius Joseph Casimo. I don't know who any of those people are. They advisors? Ah, oh, whatever. Let's do revolutionary brigades. Who the fuck is George Hart? Who are any of these people? None of the people in that focus are in our advisors list. Okay, I guess we'll have to develop the Great East instead then. We do not fully control the West Papua region. Yeah, you're right about that. Was I supposed to maybe occupy this during the war? Because I completely abandoned this. I'll be right back. So... Immediately as I am paused, I lost this. So whatever, let's do a revolution in Indochina, I guess. And let's improve relations with France because they're definitely not going to accept the Central European Alliance. God damn it. All right, let's see if they say anything. Wow, they actually accepted. Hold on. And there are puppet. Oh, all of them. Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. It's <laughs> it's Pol Pot. Do not do the things you did in real life, please. Uh, let's get less consumer goods, I guess. We'll do. We'll seize the foreign capitalist assets. All right, war in the British Empire. Cool, cool. Well, I guess who's justifying on Laos? All right, let's do the liberation of Malaya now. Let's see what happens. I really want Siam to declare war. I think I'd fuck them up. Call to arms from Sinkiang. Japan, Manguko, Manchuko. No, no thanks. Not yet. Uh, Sinkiang, you're still safe. You're still like in the middle of... Uh... I mean, okay, your neighbors are probably not the nicest people, but you'll be fine for now. The Siamese Empire joined Italy. Uh... In the Allies? What? Why is fascist Italy in the Allies? Excuse me? Wait... wait. Uh, so you're telling me when these motherfuckers declare war on Laos, we're gonna have to go to war with the allies That seems so fair. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the Siamese question Well, we'll ask them to do foreign policy realignment, whatever that means the Malayan revolutionaries have risen up good Let's send our troops there. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but well, I guess we'll send our troops there Where's the uprising? Am I tweaking? Where 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 where's the uprising? Germany at war again against whom? Yes, they're at war with the allies good the Netherlands during the Central European Alliance. That's not good at all. Well, how am I ever gonna... God, I'm not gonna get an industry. I'm just gonna have to build it from the ground up. I definitely went wrong somewhere, right? I, and now I'm paying the consequences for it. All right, let's do a Siamese question. Does that do anything? What does that... What did that do? I guess we're increasing the communism in them right now. Oh, and we got a war goal. If we did the war goal, we'd have to go to war with these people. And that's too much of a risk for now. I don't even have that big of an army. I don't even have one full army group. All right, next, let's do the question of religion because that's not... That's not controversial controversial at all. I'm sure we're going to come to a great consensus. There has never been any controversy regarding religion in the world ever. Man, poor China. They're going to die because they didn't join our faction, the Nusantara Accord. The question of religion. If we say no to religion, we get 80% research speed for 18, 26 days, which is, that's a lot. Or we can get two mils and those buffs for like 8, 26, 18, 26 days. They're not that good. Yeah, sure. We'll get the 80% research speed. That's pretty good. Considering that we only have, uh, what is it? Uh, two research 
the slots. And France went Bourbon. Well, they're about to die, but they went Bourbon. So, yeah, maybe going to war with the Allies right now would be kind of interesting, right? You know what? Fuck it. We ball. We ball. Alright, well, we're taking Bangkok, so that's a good start to the war. Uh, we did kind of let them go in here. Canadian divisions in Siam. Why do they try hard so much when it's against me, man? I swear. Also, British Malay, you may hate me, but this is your punishment for not rising up. Why didn't you rise up? You did nothing. You are useless to me. And we have no military high command that are actually good. Man, I don't know what they're doing, actually. They have way more troops than me, but I'm just outmaneuvering them. We should probably grant Germany. I mean, I don't, they're not gonna help me, definitely, but we should probably grant them military access anyway. How's the communist influence in... That's not a lot of communist influence. Let's do quantity over quality because it is true especially when i'm playing this game okay fraudolini is deposed that happens like all the time and the germans actually sent tanks here let's kill off those siamese divisions if i can rush these two cities i think it's done i think it's done for them please be undefended please be undefended yes all right well that was the weakest one of the people that we're gonna fight from now on actually let's try to quickly cap off malaysia here i don't know who took the rest of this by the way oh is this what we got from that event i didn't even notice <laughs> i did not even notice is that what actually what we got from that vietnam wants to join the war do you have any divisions can you help us in any way no you can't ho chi minh my god <laughs> That is not what Ho Chi Minh looks like. But Ho Chi Minh, with all due respect, you cannot help me. You have nothing. Your only purpose is to provide me with factories. Now we can either do local militias or impose a strict hierarchy. Impose a strict hierarchy does actually lead to, you know, uh, better things here. You know, modern warfare, Indonesia high command. But local militia does go to mass assault tactics and ideological devotion, which is kind of more on brand. Okay, look at this. What this does is replace KNIL incompetence with army incompetence is that much better at least this one gets rid of knil incompetence with indonesian army at least there's no incompetence there anymore basically if we do this one we'll never run out of manpower because we'll get even more recruitable population factor but the division attack bonus isn't as high what should i do Ah, uh, whatever, I'll do local militia. Ah, uh, the ignore divisions that are not your main focus curse has hit us again. It might be a pretty long curse name, but it's deadly. All right, British Malay is dead. We do have a bit of a problem up here again, though. And if you're asking, yo, can you actually form Greater Indonesia right now? Well, no, because Portugal decided to invade this. Joy! Let's do mass assault tactics because that's funny. I love using 1 million men to achieve what another army could do with 1,000. I like how I control all the Malay states but not all the Indonesian states now. That is great. Thank you, Portugal. Literally your only useful historic contribution since the 1500s. Tone it down, bud. We're gonna do volunteers against imperialism because we finally have a big enough army. That sounds like a bootleg Hoi 4 DLC. I, I wonder why that is. It can't be like a single word in the middle or anything. The British Empire joined in Germany. What, what are these factions? Why did the fascist UK join Germany's strictly democratic faction? Yeah, let's do a non-aggression pact with Germany and Soviet Union. I do not feel like fighting either. Shit. Let's do ideological devotion. All right. Well, we're kind of fucked, aren't we? We have never been more fucked. You know what? We're not winning with our current faction. We are not winning with our current faction at all. We are dismantling this faction and we are joining Central European. It, this is scum. I know this is like actual maximum scummery, but we're not winning. We are not winning. And they want to join my war against Japan. Yes. I actually built supply here, so now they should be able to push a bit easier, I think. Hopefully. Clearly not. Alright, next let's actually pave the way for a navy. We're gonna build up a navy in 1941. How did I get in this war again? Oh, that's right. They joined the allies, which are not allies, by the way. They're like evil allies. And we need to build up our weapons again, which we're not getting any produced because, yeah, this is pain. I'm in pain. Alright, let's start funding the air force now. Let's get a third research slot. Wow, we actually made the first breakthrough in like a year, I think. I'm not even kidding. Ah, they came back. Look at that. Do you think the Portuguese actually have boats here doesn't seem like it we have 100 percent naval supremacy can we even do naval invasions though hold on oh we actually know how to do naval invasions let's try that actually no way the portuguese are guarding this i, I don't believe it it's halfway across the world and it's portugal a filipino division end my life can we end them oh, oh can we actually end them nice oh they're garbage divisions good 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 they're literally just paper divisions no one come here no one come here please we we in good we in good i think we can form it now right yes look at that we are now the new 
Nusantaran Socialist Republic, otherwise known as Greater Indonesia. And we can get a fourth research slot here, so let's do that. Move to capital. I don't know why, but I do want to do nuclear things, so yes. Oh, Canada's in a civil war. Oh, that's sick. That's actually sick. If we can invade the US from there, that's big. We're clearly never gonna push through this front, so we're gonna send them to the US. The Soviet- Oh, oh, I think the this faction capitulated. The Czech Entente. Move to capital. New capital. I mean, Jakarta is the one city of the two I know, so I, we're, we're going to Jakarta, I guess. Let's do the Batavia project now. Alright, they're arriving in Canada. The Indonesian army. Let's get nukes in 219 days. National Spain, they're part of the Greater East Asian. They are like the only fascist faction right now, I think. We have nuclear bombs now. On January 21st, 1945. Yeah, I try to get naval supremacy in the Bay of Bengal to, you know, maybe naval invade here and... <laughs> That's not happening. The fall of Berlin this time. Oh no. What? What? What's ha- Ah, uh, that's kind of a problem. Mm. At least we're not at war with the Soviets. So that's good. Then we build some nuclear reactors. Yeah, Germany's dead. I didn't even notice the notification. Yeah, right now, Soviet Union's still not at war with the Japanese faction, but it, it's coming. It's definitely gonna happen. It, it always happens. Don't do that, please. That That is something you shouldn't do. That is my property. I've been staring at the same front for like 30 minutes. Please help me. Wow, another breakthrough. Holy shit. I didn't even know we could do those anymore. The atomic bombing of Marcus Island. Marcus Island. Wow, random Pacific Island got nuked. I'm so sad. With 42 people, which is, I guess, more ethical than what I do, which is, uh, I, I just choose the most populated 15 divisions on one tile. Uh, man, I want to sleep. Building a fleet takes a while, huh? Last time I've seen a breakthrough was during the year 1943. There's no supply, no real power, nothing. The troops have lost morale. Or maybe I'm just not good at the game. <laughs> Either or. Yeah, we're kind of shredding their air force. I mean, that's good, I guess. If we can get some air supremacy and cast on here, we might be able to break through. Probably not. It's a river. Rivers are hard, you know? Like, I usually bitch about my troops not being able to move through rivers. Rivers. But then again, if you ask me to move through a river with like guns and equipment, I'd probably also not be able to do it. I, I think I do empathize a bit, you know? Oh shit. Fucking France. God damn it. Again, I should really stop playing without audio and I keep not learning my lesson. Frances are such frauds. They can't defend their own homeland, but they can suddenly naval invade Indonesia. All right, bud. Oh, look at the US troops arriving. Oh my God. There you go. Now the Soviets are at war with Japan and shit. They keep winning this battle but they're not advancing i okay finally they're going goddamn our allied fleets are probably also gone that's why they were able to do this naval invasion at last there we go they, yeah our cast is really effective like i would marry close air support if i could that's such a pain why do they have to put so many troops man like bro try to take back your homeland man what are you doing in indonesia what you think we're an easy target probably are but shut up like how they're taking shifts defending this province that is so obnoxious to look at it makes sense on a strategic level but it's so obnoxious to look at let me tell you we can nuke this once we get the first bomb and then this river won't matter anymore all the water is going to be evaporated oh did we actually push through hold on what happened to one of then we have another division did you just die man worked so hard they just died french mountaineer division in indonesia i hate you all i don't know why they're not i mean i guess the supply here is bad but like we have railroads i mean i guess we have we have no trains though there's no point to railroads if we have no trains we don't even know what a train is okay that's that's promising <laughs> we need trains we really need trains well, the Soviets give us trains. We don't even have convoys for the trains, so why am I even doing this? I have to make my own train. Okay, since I'm kind of losing it, I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow. This is brain numbing. <coughs> I'm back. All right, I have a very radical plan to get um, naval supremacy, all right? What if I just spam naval bombers? That would work, right? All right, we know what trains are now, finally, in 1948, by the way. If this doesn't land, I need to take back Medan. I really do. Oh, thank God. Okay, now let's try to take this province. And let's nuke it. That should work, right? I didn't even, the explosion didn't even show up, but that should work. Holy shit. If we can take that province as well, this is big. Because then they'll have no more ports here, I don't think. They are stuck. They are stuck now. And right, now they're all stuck on one province with no supply. They're somehow still gonna find a way. Oh, never mind. Holy shit. At least the Soviet Union kind of destroyed Manchuria. So they're probably gonna take Korea next. And then I'll be able to do a naval invasion. Because I'm assuming, yeah, okay. So they will give me military access. If I can just pull off one sketchy-ass naval invasion into Japan, I can probably murder them. Spain is also amazing. 
major, but the Soviet Union's, I think, has got that locked down as well. Come on, kill, kill the Canadian divisions, please. Yes. Oh my god. And it went to Germany. A capitulated Germany. They aren't willing to give it to us. That's insane. Okay, we're gonna use the next nuke to kick them out of Indonesia for good here. Alright, let's kill off these people. Let's nuke them. That should be good. Wait, hold on. We have naval supremacy here now? I've been at war for so long that Nehru is the leader of India. I have never seen Nehru in this game. <laughs> That's how long I've been playing. Okay, so the thing is, there's no ports on this side, and the closest port to the Bay of Bengal is here. I don't know. It kind of seems a bit far, so let's try to capture port in Rangoon here with nukes. That should be pretty good, right? I think. There we go. We captured the port, I think. Hold on. There we go. I wish the Soviets would send their world-renowned fleet here, except they might not be renowned for, like, the best reasons, but, you know, like, they have one, at least. All right, let's naval invade India, or at least let's see how far it goes before the U.S. sends their entire army there. Pretty good naval invasion so far, I think. A lot of divisions in a portless area. Let's take advantage of that. These naval bombers did not help at all. How many more victory points does India have? Like Delhi? Is that it? Now let's nuke Delhi. Come on. Walk in, walk in, walk in. Okay, that's good. Yes, India's dead. Holy. We can take their, this port. They're kind of fucked here. I wonder where they're gonna draw supply from. Answer, nowhere. They're dead. They are cooked. I don't know how many divisions because our intel's super garbage, but uh, they're all dead now. Where did my navy go? Oh, that's right. I put them here. Yeah. Uh, quite futile. Only have 2%. Okay, only some of these will launch and into the very bad areas. But if they're not defending it, it should be fine. These lines are super thin though. If I call Vietnam in, I can probably push into Japan and China. Okay, now we may have a border with them here, but pushing through here sounds like the worst experience of my life. As I said, I'm just gonna try to push through here instead. Probably not much better, but it's like probably a bit better, right? Alright, let's call Vietnam in. Let's nuke this one province and let's grab it. I do want to integrate my puppets soon. So maybe I'll start building infrastructure in Vietnam and shit. Now, even if we take China, the problem is still how are we going to invade mainland Japan? What a great Vietnam this is. If I knew the Vietnamese anthem by heart, I'd be singing it right now. All right, let's take Beijing. Let's try to join in with this Soviet front here. For some reason, they don't want my military access, but okay. Okay, we've taken Chongqing, right? We have to be close to capitulating China. Uh, where? Where Where are these victory points? It still controls 60%? Don't we have like 99% of the Chinese population within Vietnamese borders right now? Soon we'll be able to annex Vietnam. Look at that. The new Centaurin Socialist Republic. Let's try to take Chengdu. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Please be the end. We still have a Japan to beat after this. China is no more. Although this does look horrendous. We're gonna have to finish this off. Is this the fleets of Vietnam? Holy shit, man. We are sinking Japanese ships. Holy shit, we got of a battle cruiser or maybe i'll try to airdrop onto the ryukyu islands okinawa and then i'll try to airdrop there maybe that's the strat oh yeah let's set the pair droppers to high equipment priority i need them to be ready soon or else i'm gonna lose my mind after this i would go invade the united states i just think I don't have the patience for it because I don't want to invade whatever the fuck this is. All right, we have pair droppers, so let's try to drop on Ryuki. Let hopefully the Americans don't have anything there. All right, let's nuke this. Then let's launch this thing. And yeah, that was a pretty good landing. All right, let's see if it actually it does not. Okay, that's very annoying. How am I going to invade Japan? I just I kind of can't. God, I wish I could leave the German faction. Holy shit. Because then I could probably join the Soviet one and then I could Get military access, airdrop. We're all peachy. All right, let's annex Cambodia. Cambodia. God, I was so happy for a second because uh, I, I saw the green, but I, I realized I was on strategic air map mode. And we can now also annex Laos. Now, these borders are quite smooth. I do like these territories. Maybe I should create an agency. 
now they decide to come back? Fuck, I did not notice any of this. Do not check your phone while playing this game because then shit like this happens. And we were somehow able to cover this up, so that should be alright. Can we get one day where our guy isn't in prison? Ice, ice. And it keeps being the the Japanese guy. Isn't he the one who shouldn't be getting captured? When I'm in a don't go to prison challenge and my opponent is Samata Kido. God, the unpassable terrain is making this unbearable to manage. Jesus Christ. Especially because these rats will go into any crevice because they have like infinite troops. Like, look at how many fronts there are. Why is there so many individual fronts? It, it, it hurts me. I know I brought this upon myself, but this is going a bit too far. Once this reaches 100, I better be, I, I, I better be 50%. Like, at 100%, we should be knowing, like, what fucking the Emperor ate for dinner that night. Alright, so we're at 100%, it's still at 45%. Do I have to infiltrate the Navy or some shit? Maybe. Alright, we killed Siam. Again. Did we just get kicked from the faction? Yes. Well, well let's ask for military access. Ah, well, good news now is that I guess we can, yeah, we can just join common turn instead. That's sick. So we don't really need this anymore. We can just airdrop. Oh my god. I do enjoy the Soviet troop spam though. I'm thankful for that. All right. I'm not going to nuke the airport because that's probably a not a good idea because I'll be using it. We captured the port. We did it. Now please, please people, flood into the country. We must defeat them. I do not care about casualties right now. Just push. Just push. I do not care. Oh, it's over. That's so fucking insulting. Holy shit. 20%? Ah, eh, whatever. I'm too fucking tired at this point, man. They let, uh, the United States just liberate Japan, by the way. What a waste. And also, all I got was this. Th th this is all I got. That is just so sad. But you know what? Yeah, I'm killing- I'm killing the allies. I'm just so fucking frustrated. Landing successful. Yeah, Soviets are kind of carrying Loki. They probably deserve a lot of the war score right now. Let's we'll take Washington, yes. Oh my god, the United States is dead. And I'm assuming the last major is freaking Canada, probably? Yeah, there we go. Oh, the war's over. 35%. All right, folks, take a look at this horrible uh, world now. <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is quite horrible. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I do agree. I, of course, took all my cores here. All of India, you know, I think that's fair. The Philippines. Uh, as for Japan, we have Soviet Japan, Soviet Union, Soviet Japan. It looks kind of horrible, yes. Also took some of Australia. Unfortunately, Imperialist Australia is part of another faction. I took the West Coast here. I don't know, it just felt appropriate. And yeah, I think Comintern kind of has a, a grip on the entire world. Unfortunately, the People's United Provinces... Oh, they're in the Central European Alliance. I want to complete this decision. The establishment of Aslia. Okay, we're going to war with the Central European Alliance. We literally just need to get our Indonesian core. I think. Oh, we can actually do it now. All right, let's do that. We are now the Asian Australian commune. <laughs> Did we core it all? That's a lot of manpower. All right, and we ended up second. I originally wanted to do a full Asia conquest, but unfortunately, the Soviet Union, as much as they helped me, kind of got in my way. And now, for some reason, the name is back to the Indonesian Socialist Republic. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, I guess the name is back, so it doesn't say anything about Nusantara anymore. But we did form it, guys. There's, there's proof it, earlier in the video, I swear. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. A uh, good mod, honestly. I do want to replay it. It was a good focus stream. It's just, uh, Indonesia is just a pain. And also, I don't know if it's the mod that added this. Unpassable terrain. This is the only thing about the mod that really angered me. But yeah, other than that, really good mod. I enjoyed it. And anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep now, so good night. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Thank you so much to Krasna Mirah for making the Indonesia mod. It makes playing a nation like Indonesia actually like bearable and fun. So that's actually very well made. As always, thank you to members Flameman1995, User1 underscore User1, Lars, Organic Potato Thief, Majko, The Atlantic, Odin Norevic, Alex the Dank, Arnaliskis, Chris Tibbs, and Wenoklija. Wenoklija, yes. Anyways, I'll see you guys in therapy. Good night.